Good morning, folks. Well, the usual request. I've had a few people ask the green garden guy if he wouldn't go back out into the garden again. Well, here I am. Now, today's subject is the amazing hybrid lily koi. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm standing next to it over here. It's right now hanging in a, a Fairchild Mandarin. Let me uh, see if I can kind of give you a picture of this thing. Okay, well, I'm not sure from your side of the camera what you can see here, but I the yield on this thing is ridiculous. If you look in here, you see I got lily koi literally everywhere in here. It's hard to hard to show off because it's kind of a mess there in the orange tree, but this plant is still a little bit of a mystery to me, okay? Uh, it is, in my opinion, the finest lily koi that we have. Now, there are some people who are very partial to the old-time standard yellow, um, very tart lily koi that uh, is grown and used here in Hawaii. And in that case, I understand definitely why they like it, because the flavor is extremely intense, very much so. So the original yellow uh, is definitely an intense flavor, and because we tend to use lily koi here as uh, jams, and jellies, butters, uh, all sorts of different things, it's a, it's a more of a flavoring agent than it is a fruit we eat straight up, because uh, it's pretty tart. But, I get it, I understand why you like that one, but I'm telling you what, this one, in my opinion, it is probably the finest because it has most of the intense flavor of the yellow type, but it also has the sweetness of the Jamaican type. The plant is reputed to be a hybrid between um, Passiflora edulis, probably the purple form, and uh, the Jamaican lily koi with the orange skin and the very sweet flesh. Um, at least that's what I was told when we brought the vine in from reputable source, local nursery. Got this off the shelf over at uh, um, Garden Exchange here in Hilo. I really didn't believe it at first. But I have a history with this thing uh, because many years ago, friends of mine up in Hamakua had this plant in their landscape. Uh, they raved about it. I tried it and went, oh, oh, oh boy, is that a good passion fruit. Yeah, and so sadly, instead of taking cuttings because I was traveling quite a distance, I took fruit with seeds instead. Figuring, oh, well, I'll just grow it from seed. Well, I got back here to the nursery, I planted the seeds, and everything came up yellow. Anyway, pretty much concluding that this thing really is a hybrid, uh, because it just doesn't seem to breed true to its seeds. Well, Ellen found it one day while she was out shopping for uh, pretty plants at the nursery, and she brought it home to me and says, Bill, this is a hybrid between Edulis and, uh, and Laurifolia. I went, ow, Oh, yeah, I get my places where I have a belief system I didn't think that was possible to do, okay? Well, I put it in the ground, I gave it a chance, I let it start growing. I believe it probably put it in maybe uh, oh, August or so uh, in one year. By the next year, I had 500 or more <laughs> fruit on that thing, and I was actually beginning to sell them. Uh, it had barely been in for, you know, 12 to 18 months. I said, wow, this thing is definitely a hybrid. It is precocious as all get out. Well, then I went ahead and I cut into one when it got ripe and I opened it. Whoa, lo and behold, it had the hard shell of the edulis external, but it had the soft shell of the Jamaican lily koi internally. And I said, hmm, well, I guess it isn't a load. This is probably really a hybrid between those two. It sure looks like it. You can almost take the two apart and get a hard shell and a soft shell with this fruit. 
Well, so I began to propagate the plant from cuttings, um, and frankly, I've talked about it in the past here on the channel, and every time I do that, uh, I cannot keep up with the demand from people trying to get it from me, because despite the fact it is here on the island, uh, I haven't seen a lot of it. And there seems to be a problem here with pollination on some passion fruits. Definitely the Jamaican up here at this elevation at least it doesn't pollinate where the darn we can get uh, Fruit on it, but only if Ellen bothers to go out and tickle it with paintbrushes So I'm not real happy about Jamaicans here people down the mountain tell me that they can do it But then a lot of them also say they have a large population of carpenter bee uh, big black shiny bumbles uh, that seem to really favor pollinating those flowers. So it may be a specific pollinator. Um, anyway, the yellow lily koi, which is the standard of the industry here, um, over the last few years I've heard plenty of complaints about the thing not pollinating. Um, some of this seemed to almost correspond with the, uh, uh, the eruption down in Leilani. Now, no, I mean, it, I, I seriously doubt it's a volcano that had much to do with it, but uh, it's possible that it did disrupt some of the pollinators here uh, that worked on that plant. I don't really have an answer for why, but I know that I used to be able to get yellow lily koi in abundance, and a few years ago, they aren't so abundant anymore. Uh, I just can't seem to get them pollinated. Well, this one hasn't got that problem. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I swear almost every flower that comes in this vine sets itself. Um, you know, whether they're pollinating by something like a fruit fly, you know, or something where there's no scarcity. Um, you know, typically I have uh, the hummingbird moth is an excellent pollinator here for me. We also have, uh, you know, the regular Italian honeybees around. Sometimes a lot, sometimes not so much, depends. But this vine has no problem uh, getting fruit to set no matter what. So, yap, 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 right? This is what the stuff looks like. I call it pink lily koi. I mean, it's not really what it's called. But, again, it was acquired without a name. Uh, that's not unusual here in Hawaii that there are things that get around that, if they had a name originally, lost them. The white pineapple is definitely one of those. Anyway, I'm going to do one of those uh, uh, Green Garden Guy taste tests over here for you in front of the camera on this fruit. Um, I'm sorry, Buddy Joe isn't here, but uh, Joe has also tasted this fruit, is growing it, and definitely approves of it. Uh, we both agree. All right, now here. There's the interior, right? And look here. See this? This is a soft shell that really almost separates from the hard shell that really convinced me that this is probably a hybrid. Mm. Oh. Mm. Almost sweet as candy, but intense enough to know that you're dealing with lily koi. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this thing is so good. Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm. I can't say too much. Really. Mmm. I'm going to be a pig because I'm going to suck this out of the shell here right in front of my camera. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man, is that good. Anyway, here, I'm going to work this out for you. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. I got it. All right. Now, a regular edulis does not have this soft shell on the inside of the hard shell. The Jamaican has a soft shell like this, and so do a few others like Melisma and um, uh, Incarnata. Uh, several passion vites have soft shells on them, but most of them have either a soft or a hard. This thing has both. What do you make of that, huh? Well, my take is it really is the hybrid they claim it is. 
Well, I probably will bother to take a look around uh, since I get started on this and see if there is actually a name somewhere for that plant. But a rose is a rose. By whatever name, as Shakespeare said, this thing is a wonder. It's incredible. I do have cuttings in the nursery currently rooting. I sold out the whole last batch recently. Um, they're gone, but I will have some more maybe in about six weeks. So in about six weeks, you could probably contact me. I will be making more since I <laughs> stuck this in the camera. We're in danger. But There you go, folks. My favorite lily koi. Now, one that should be in anybody's garden here, at least in Hawaii. Uh, where it grows very well. Aloha. I'll hang loose.